What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red randomized Nuzlocke. At the end of the last episode, uh, as you guys hopefully know, uh, if you didn't watch it I suggest you go do so, uh, you, you notice a big change in the layout over here. Uh, we had a bit of trouble against uh, Sabrina. She kind of kicked our butt. The only two Pokemon to survive her gym were Crimson and Panda. Uh, which, while I both love Crimson and Panda, were not necessarily the two that I would have chosen if I could have. Garrett, I was really hoping would stick around, but it it's just so frail. Uh, we had a, a Quirk. I mean, we had a lot of good stuff. I'm very happy to have at least two. We did not lose the lock, but it was a bit challenging. Now today we are going to go uh, and try and get all the way to Fuchsia City. Uh, there's a lot to do in Fuchsia City, but we are kind of over that halfway hump of the game. So I'm really excited to get through it and uh, and see where we're at. But before we do that, let's have, since there is such a big change in the uh, lineup, let's have a bit of a team recap. We have Parish. By the way, I leveled everything up to 50. It may have taken me like multiple hours, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, we have Parish, our bayonet. Uh, would knock off Shadow Ball, Faint Attack, and Nightshade. Would really like to get some variety on this moveset, but overall, it's not bad, and the fact that it's Ghost-type is very helpful. We have George, our Jolteon, that Electric-type, stick it in there. <clears throat> we have Thunder, Double Kick, Pin Missile, and Quick Attack. Honestly, not a bad moveset. Uh, the only thing I'd really change is Thunder's accuracy isn't great, so if we could get Thunderbolt... I'd kind of be happy with that, but we did have a TM for Thunder, so I went ahead and gave that to George and let him hold the magnet as well. Uh, Tommy! <laughs> Just love this face. Uh, our Looney Cola with Hydro Pump, Bullet Seed, Fake Out, and Thief. Uh, honestly, again, kind of happy with the moveset. Hydro Pump, not amazing in terms of damage, it's great, but in terms of accuracy, not so much. Would love to have had Water Pulse, but we use that, so can't. Uh, Musashi. Uh, our Marowak has Boomerang, Thrash, Bone Club, and Headbutt. Not a super diverse moveset, but does come in handy, I'll be honest, uh, and I really, really like him. We, of course, have Crimson with Overheat, which we did teach him. Uh, quick Attack, Flame Wheel, and then he learns Swift. I didn't really... I, I hate Swift as a move, but it's a guaranteed hit, and so if we get any of these Clefable encounters, anything that's lowering accuracy or minimizing and that kind of stuff... We can use Swift to take care of it, so that's there. Uh, and then finally, Panda. Uh, with Reversal in place of Combines, uh, Hidden Power Dragon, Psychic, and Brick Break. That's our team. That's our team. Uh, we have quite a bit to do in this episode because there are encounters to be had. There are uh, trainers to battle. Let's check very quickly uh, because I don't know what our ball... Ah, oh, we're doing okay. Uh, let's go, we're gonna head to the left here first. Now we're not gonna go down Cycling Road, but there are some encounters, and crucially I believe an HM that we need to get. Uh, oh, we don't have a cut user. Oh, sad day. Uh, alright, let's, let's open our TM case. Oh, I forgot about that, we lost our cut user in Ace. That's really sad. Alright, Crimson can learn it. We will teach it to Crimson. It's not ideal, but it's fine. Uh... And we'll probably just go in place of quick attack here. I do like the fact that um, Swift always hits. It's actually really helpful, I think. Uh, and so I am going to keep that on there. Quick attack being a priority move, also very helpful. Uh, don't get me wrong, but we've had a lot of trouble with Clefables minimizing and crap like that. So we're going <laughs> to gonna do our best to get around that. All right. Uh, also... One second, because my dog wants out of this room. Alright, we're back. Alright, let's do this. Uh, Murkrow and Wobbuffet. Crap. Okay, they're level 35. Hopefully we can do this. I don't want to die. I don't ever want to die again. Um, uh, let's Shadow Ball this. And we'll try and Thunder that. Uh, Thunder, again, just that accuracy is really the only wild card with it. I just never know if it's going to hit or not, and that's a little scary, not going to lie. Um, overall, it's not the end of the world, but that should do a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, easy. All right. I did train up to level 50 uh, because, again, I think it's very crucial that we not die again. Um, and... <laughs> 
Unfortunately, Sabrina was a bit of a reality check for us that uh, that might happen, uh, and so we just have to be really careful. And so level 50 made me feel a lot safer. Uh, let's go up here really quick. Uh, I believe we talked to her and get Fly. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. Uh, oh, good. Okay, so we have Fly. Uh, we, to my knowledge, don't have a Pokemon that can learn Fly. <laughs> Uh, let's, let's see. I really doubt anything can learn fly, but on the off chance, look at that. We're walking everywhere, guys. All right, uh, let's go over here. Obviously get an encounter in the grass right here, and then there is also the Snorlax static encounter that we can get as well. I'm leading with, uh, nice, uh, our Parish because it has Nightshade. So theoretically... We can not. We can use Nightshade and not kill something. Hopefully. Please don't kill. Look at that. Perfect. Um, and this shouldn't do very much. We are level 20 or 50. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. There we go. All right. So let's throw a great ball. Try and catch this graveler. I do need to. Oh, I forgot. I always forget this. I always forget to pull up uh, some some comments here. All right, Graveler's data was added to the Pokedex. I like it. Now keep in mind, if we do have to swap out, we can actually get a Golem because we did uh, fix the the evolution thing. All right, uh, I like this name. All right, Nick Broberg. We're gonna go Broberg with this. That just seems correct. Um, all right, Broberg. Thank you so much, Nick. I really appreciate you being here. Uh, and let's. Let's get that guy to the PC. All right, one encounter is down. Let's go see what this Snorlax encounter is. And then we're gonna head back the other way to Lavender Town uh, and hopefully figure out the way to go. All right. Well, that was lovely. Snorlax woke up. All right. It attacked in a grumpy rage. It's so grumpy. Yo, a Gyarados. That's actually not bad. Um, I'm a little worried it might have bite. Uh, I mean, it shouldn't kill us by any means. Uh, it's going to be super effective, but it shouldn't kill us. Uh, Thrash can't hit us, which is good. Yeah, it does have bite. Okay, that does very little. Uh, the only trick is we can't really do much else to this thing. Uh, so we have to hope a great ball is enough. One, two, no. Uh, let me also... Alright. Let's do it one more time. Uh, no! Come on! Come on, come on, come on! Alright. We'll do... One or two more. We can always pick up some more, uh, great balls. We've got plenty of money, I'm not super worried about that. Before our next encounter, we can... We can take care of it. Dragon Rage is actually a little scary. Um, let's go for one more. If we don't get it this time, I'm not too stressed about it. We will knock this thing out. Yeah. We just, we don't have a way to damage it. That's all there is to it. That isn't going to just absolutely kill it. Uh, so let's just Nightshade again. This should do exactly enough to kill it. Oh, crap. Okay, that actually was a little scary. Uh, okay, well, in that case, uh, let's go out to... I mean... Let's go out to George. George is a safe bet. Well, I guess we can Great Ball again now. So, let's try one more. If it doesn't work, that's fine. Like I said, we're not, we're not stressing about it. We've got a pretty solid team. Uh, Musashi is a bit of a weak link in my opinion. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Only because the moveset is very limited and it dies to the most prominent type in the game, uh, which is a little scary. So we're just gonna quick attack this thing. Let's just get it out of here. I'm not gonna worry. Let's not stress. Let's not waste an episode just trying to catch a Gyarados. It's fine. Everything is fine. Snorlax, calm down. Oh, good. All right. Let's go over here. Let's heal up really quick. Uh, P.S. In training and getting everything up to level 50, the reason we are in Celadon City is because 
the grass to the right of Celadon, which we'll pass in just a second, is really the best place that we have currently to train, which is sad because the Pokemon are only level like 17 to 20. Um, and on top of that, a lot of them are Cleffa. <laughs> which as it turns out is not a very uh, strong thing to train against is a great way to put that. So, <laughs> uh, it's been a little, uh, it's been a bit of a grind. That's part of why it took a couple hours. I apologize because I know the last episode went up a bit later than normal. Uh, still the same day, thankfully. Hopefully this one can go up the same day. I really don't know. Um, I'm actually recording the day of, so I don't know if I'll be able to get it up in time. I'm going to do the best I can, uh, but worst case scenario, it'll of course be up the next day and you guys can see it then. But, um, I, it's just been, this has been a stressful little, little part of the game, we will say. Uh, but we are, I mean, we are chugging through this game. I am very proud because honestly, this is one of those things where, uh, let's just get seven. I don't really want, but so many of these. <laughs> Reason being, Ultra Balls are going to come into play here soon, I think, so it's not really worth it. Um... But yes, we have been working hard to get through this Nuzlocke. Uh, we're we're kicking some butt, and we're on the downswing, I think. We are on the downswing. Now, there's still a lot to do, don't get me wrong. Uh, oh, good. What is TM27? Oh, it's Return. Uh, I mean, Return's not bad. It's not really what I wanted, but that's not bad. Alright. Let's fight some people. Uh, Fuchsia City is a very crucial one because there's the move Deleter, which we don't really need anymore, but, uh, it's there for us. And then, of course, there's also, uh, the T- or the HM for Surf in the Safari Zone. There's, uh, Koga's Badge. There's- there's quite a bit that we need to do in Fuchsia City, so today's episode is all about just getting there. Uh, just doing the best we can to get there. Hopefully we can not have any issues, which, given- the current state uh, of of our Pokemon, I think we're okay. I don't think that's a problem. Our levels are quite high, and we're against Caterpie, so that helps. <laughs> uh, let's just knock off. All right. Uh, cool. Did that not kill? We didn't kill a Caterpie in one shot. We're level 50. Good. All right. Knock off is not a strong move, but still. <laughs> Ghost Rider Pie. I like that. Or P. Or Pie. Whatever you want to call it. Alright, let's jump down. We can do this. Happy to fight some of these trainers because, again, I'm happy to gain some experience. <laughs> I don't want to die again. I really don't want to die again. Um, we went through a string of episodes there where we were losing, like, one Pokemon. And, like, you know, that happens. Like, it's totally fine. But those moments where, like, you lose four, like we did, like, those are the scary moments. It sucks to lose one, but you know you're not gonna lose the game. That was the situation where I really thought we were gonna lose the game. Like, I was convinced we were dead, that was it. Uh, thankfully that wasn't the case, but obviously required a lot of training to get things back where they needed to be. This Delcaddy here, we are just going to brick break it away. Reversal is a very good move, by the way, but it is based on our HP. It does more the less HP we have. Uh, so it's going to be helpful, I think, in certain situations. But for these trainers where we're kind of just one-shotting stuff and just kind of getting it out of the way, uh, I think it's okay to, to just go for the brick break and not worry about it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this route should take us all the way down and then to the left, which will get us over to Fuchsia City. There are, like I said, a lot of trainers here. We're going to fight all the way through if we can. We may not fight every single trainer, but I do want to fight, you know, a decent amount. Um, what I may do, depending on the number that we we uh, we don't fight, uh, I may go back and kind of fight a few of them as we go through. But there are a lot of encounters to be had as well. Uh, technically we could get one on this route, actually. If we wanted, we could just Old Rod. Uh, I don't know. I might wait. I might wait. We're getting a good rod in Fuchsia City. There's also the Super Rod, which I don't actually know where the Super Rod is, I'll be honest. Um, 
and a level 5 is going to take forever to train up. Um, Lilip, honestly, we should have moved into something else, but Shadow Ball should take it out. Uh, I really like Parish, by the way. Parish is, like, kind of sweet. Um, I've never really used a Bayonet before, um, but it's working out. It's working out pretty well. Let's go out to Tommy, and we'll Hydro Pump. Uh, it may miss, and we may get hit with something, but Tommy is a, is a bulky little guy. Or girl. It's technically a girl, but named Tommy. You never really know. Alright, Hydro Pump that thing away. Four times effective. Easy peasy. Let's get that out of there. A Rhyhorn will stay. Tommy, you got this. Um... I'm a little concerned. I haven't looked up Koga's gym levels yet. Uh, obviously we did that for Sabrina and we underestimated slightly. <clears throat> I do need to look and see what Koga's levels are. That's going to determine if we end up having to train in between some episodes here. Uh, so the reality is we probably will need to. Uh, considering Sabrina had a level, what, 51 or 2? I don't remember. Um, I think it's probably best that we uh, we train up slightly, uh, but getting everything to level 50, this should be more than enough just to get us through this portion of the game. No problem. Uh, I guess we thunder it. Seems like an overkill, but... Volbeat is down, look at that. Shadow Ball should take this Lava Fed out, no problem. Uh, I do have a name pulled up for our next encounter if we get it, by the way. Uh, and it's actually... Oh, I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited at who it is, so hopefully we can get one. Uh, also, if I happen, and I don't think I have yet, but if I happen to name a Pokemon after you twice or something like that, my bad. Uh, you're in here twice. Um, it's totally fine. Uh, it attacked in a grumpy rage. Here we go. Our second static encounter, and it's in Nekans. Well, that's a little underwhelming, isn't it? <laughs> um, it might be an easy catch, though, so that's worthwhile. Glare. Does not affect Parish. That's really helpful. Uh, let's just Great Ball it. Alright. Get it? There it is. Alright. Woo! First encounter of the episode. Ekans and Arbok. Perfect. Alright, give a nickname. Yes, absolutely. We're gonna go Oliver on this, which is kind of a funny name for an Ekans, but... Uh, this is for Jeremy Oliver, who is better known as Spinneraptor in our Discord. Raptor is also one of our mods in Discord, so a huge thank you to, to Jeremy for being an amazing part of our community. Is this the super odd? Tell me, do you like to fish? I do. Oh, well now, okay. Done. Uh, I also love seeing Magikarp. That's weird. All right. Well, in that case, let's go get, uh, let's register this. All right. Uh, and I think we can just, I don't remember, I don't know where the route ends and where it begins technically. I think it's just anywhere in here. So we'll just go right here and we'll see what we get. A Pokemon's on the hook. Let's see what it is. A Sneasel, actually one of my favorite Pokemon, funny enough. Um, the problem we have... <laughs> that doesn't affect it. It's also super effective against us. I don't know what we can really do to this thing. Um, we can try just a faint attack. I mean, my, my assumption is this'll... Yeah, okay. Taunt, that's fine. I really like Sneasel. I really hope we get Sneasel. Um, I need to find some more comments though. I haven't, I didn't expect to actually catch this many things. Um, oh, oh, that's a cool name. All right, uh, and we may not catch it, but we're gonna obviously try. It's a great bullet. <laughs> Fingers crossed, people. No, all right. It's fine, everything's fine. 
Great ball it one more time. Uh, we'll probably throw a couple of great balls on this one. Sneasel would be a really cool typing. That ice type can come in handy, uh, particularly against like dragon types and stuff like that. Um, flying type, I believe, as well. But in particular, Sneasel's just one of my favorite Pokemon, so it'd be just cool to have. Oh, can we? Yes! All right. This one is going to be named, uh, we'll name it Neon. Uh, for Shaded Neon X, uh, who commented earlier in the Nuzlocke um, and said, Super glad you're enjoying yourself. I too watch a lot of Shady Penguin. I do love Shady Penguin. Uh, been enjoying your MTG content for the last few months. If you can, I'd be honored to have a Mon on your roster. You got it. Neon, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate the support, and it's a pleasure to have you. Uh, and I love that you share my love of Shady Penguin. Uh, Shady Penguin was actually part of the group that I used to watch years and years ago. I think I've talked about this uh, for a while, but I actually just started watching him again, but I uh, used to watch him years and years ago, and that was what inspired me to really start doing a YouTube channel. I really wanted to do a Pokemon YouTube channel for a long time, uh, and then obviously ended up going the magic route instead, which I'm glad I did, uh, because I, I think I enjoy magic as a whole a little bit more than Pokemon. That being said, uh, the games work really, really well for this kind of content, and so it's just really fun to do. Uh, hence, here we are. A Kingler, you say? Uh, let's go out to George. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Alright. We'll thunder this thing. Oh, we missed. That's fine. As long as it doesn't guillotine us, or it should be good. Wow, that did a lot of damage. No, come on, George. This is the problem. This is why I want Thunderbolt, not Thunder. Oh, come on. Three in a row? Seriously? And this is gonna be super effective. Don't kill me. We're, we're swapping out. We're just not going to risk it. That's stupid. That's the problem with Thunder. I love Thunder. It's a great move. But it sucks in those situations. Um, Alright. But that's okay. We have Bullet Seed here on Tommy. So we should be able to Bullet Seed this thing out of here. Look at that damage. That's pretty good. Can we get... Yeah, there we go. Alright. Alright. Three hits, easy enough, get it out of there. Uh, I think what we'll do also is swap our our starting Pokemon. Parish is getting, getting up there, so let's swap it out and get some others a little more experience. Uh, you know what, let's put Tommy out front. I really like Tommy. I've never used a Ludicolo. Uh, I really have always kind of wanted to, um, secretly. Don't tell anyone. Uh, and so here we are. All right. Searching for a Moonstone. I actually have a Moonstone. Look at that. But you can't have it. <laughs> Agron. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm just going to Hydro Pump. Easy. Easy one shot. No problem. All right. Heck yes, Tommy. Tommy's hilarious to me. The fact that... <laughs> the fact that he has that, like... That? You know what I'm talking about. It's hilarious. I love that. I love that so much. Alright. Hydro Pump is hitting better than Thunder is, which is kind of crazy. Alright. Sailor Joe has been defeated. Heck yes. Alright. Uh, I did want to get this item. Eh. It's a PP up. I mean, that's fine. That's not bad. Alright. Can we skip you? Yeah, we can. Look at this. Alright. Uh, we can get the encounter here, uh, and we're actually doing pretty well. We're getting on on towards Fuchsia City. I'm gonna swap out because we do have Nightshade on Parish. Seems better. <laughs> Wait, is this still the same route? Actually, this is the same route, isn't it? I think this is the same route. All right, we're gonna run. Uh, if we just miss the encounter, my bad. Uh, I actually don't know, but that's fine. All right, let's swap to Tommy. Tommy out front. All right, let's go. Oh, come on. A lot of water type Pokemon here. Uh, we would have had a, if that was a new encounter, it would have been a Golduck. That's fine. I'm probably, I mean, I like Golduck. It's not a bad Pokemon. It's just not 
not one I'm super stoked about. All right. This is officially a new route, so any grass that we hit here is uh, encounterable grass, we will say. A Nino King. Wow. Tommy is coming in clutch. Ow, he missed. She missed. It missed. You know what I mean. All right, well, we don't have any of those anymore. Uh, let's just bullet seed. Wow, that does very little. <laughs> I mean, I didn't expect it to do a lot, but, like... I will say that is a slight problem on our team, is that we don't have, like, just absolute powerhouse Pokémon. We've got good Pokémon, don't get me wrong. I love every single team member. But we're definitely slightly lacking uh, in, in uh, power on the team. Oh, only hit two times? Come on. Crucially, we also have Thief on Tommy, so if we got into a situation where we know the uh, the Pokemon has, like, an item, we could just steal it, which is kind of nice. Because um, there will be situations, like, we could find a Pokemon with leftovers, for instance, it, which is an amazing item. If we could get that, that'd be great. Another Nidoking. Um, uh, Parish? Just go to Parish. I hate to overtrain Parish, but like just shadow balling on this seems like the right play. We do also, I mean, to be fair, honestly, um, Panda was probably the right call because it does have Confusion or Psychic, whichever one. Um, so it's probably a better swap, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, we'll just stay. Shadow ball again. Parish is doing some work. I like it. All right, cool, cool. Fisher Christine, done. I like it. Uh, we're coming up on 30 minutes already, my goodness. Uh, hopefully we can get there today. Run. Ah, yeah. Uh, all right. We're trying to avoid trainers at this point. I don't remember the way to go, I'll be honest. Uh, but there is grass up here. So really quick, let's see what our encounter can be. Whoops. No, go away. My up key does not seem to be working as well as I'd like. All right. <laughs> let's see what it is. Yo, it's a pupitar. Uh, that's really good. This should not kill. Yo, if we can get a Tyranitar, I will 100% swap something out for that. Uh, yeah. Like, easy swap. Like, 100% not a problem. We're swapping if we can get this. No, come on. Should have bought more Great Balls. <laughs> Mistakes have been made. All right. Uh, man, this would be so good for the team. This would be a very, very, very good Pokemon to have. Uh, okay. We do have that Master Ball. We could use it. I don't particularly want to. Oh! Yes. You know what? Because I know he's watching, uh, and because he is a just a really good friend, we're gonna go, uh... Let me make sure I'm getting the username correct. Gospel of Comics. All right, but I know you're, hold on. Crump, what is your your username? I have to know. Isn't it the Church of Failure? We're going church on this. We're going church on this because this will get used and I have to, I have to put, put a good friend of mine in here at some point. So let's go, whoops. <laughs> All right, church is here. We w it's a female, but that's fine. We're gonna be using Church, 100%, uh, which does require us to train up a little bit, but that's fine. All right. Yeah. Can we go down this way? Yeah, look at this. We went through all of that and didn't fight a single person. That's pretty amazing. 
look at us, dude. We are on it today. Uh, there is the other encounter up here, but I think, yeah, it's just also over here, so we'll just grab it over here. And this will get us over to Fuchsia City. Oh no, this is Route 15. Whoops. So there is another encounter there. We may hold off on that encounter solely because we kind of want... Well, what a terrible freaking Pokemon. No, it's fine. Uh, we'll try and catch it because it'd be great. I imagine it's... It's going to be pretty difficult to catch, but... Yo, it's biting. Okay. This is actually a very good Pokemon as well. This might be a good swap. I don't know. We're going to keep what we have as best we can, but I do think we need to swap out Musashi for Church. Um, one, the typing is better. Two, the moveset is a million times better. And three, the damage output is just crazy high. Uh, so I do think that that's going to be the right call. Like I said, that'll be an in-between episodes thing. I will train him up uh, on some of these trainers over here to try and get it to where, you know, it's usable. Might get it to evolve? I don't know. We'll see how far we, we get on the levels. Because um, again, Koga is scary. And that's really the next big thing that we have to do. So I'm, I'm a little worried. I don't think we're going to get this Marsh Tom. Uh... We'll use the Premier Ball and then maybe that'll be it. I'm not going to use the Master Ball on a Marsh Stomp. As great as Marsh Stomp is uh, for a Swampert would be awesome, but didn't even need it. Um, but I just don't want to uh, to push that if we don't help it. Uh, let's see. Let's go Peter Rollins. Let's go Rollins on this one. I like that. Peter, thank you so much. Uh, he commented as well, letting me know I missed an item. Uh, in the in the forest and that's fine I'm sure I missed quite a bit but that's okay all right uh Rollins it is I like it uh, and I really do like marsh stomp um, honestly if it were like not already trained up I would swap I would swap Rollins for Tommy I think um, but I really like Tommy so we're gonna keep him <laughs> Uh, Marsh Stomp also would be a clean, like, upgrade to, uh, Musashi as well, but I don't, I, I really want to, uh, ooh, Dragon Claw, heck freaking yeah, that's really good, um, if we had a stab dragon move, oh, uh, but I think Tyranitar is definitely the way to go, alright, let's do a couple things really quick, uh, we can't do this yet, well, I guess, yeah. Let's just go heal up. We'll call it an episode here, guys. We made it to Fuchsia City. Like I said, there are a lot of trainers to hit back there. We will take care of those in between episodes, and we will be training up our uh, our amazing new Pokemon church. I'm so excited. Uh, Andrew, you know who you are. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you, buddy. But guys, thank you so much. This was a relatively uneventful episode, I'll be honest, but... Uh, honestly, after the last episode, that's kind of what I needed, so I do appreciate everybody watching. Thank you so much. I will see you again very, very soon for the next episode of our Pokemon Fire Red Randomized Nuzlocke.